I pledge to raise awareness of food poverty and its causes. I pledge to raise awareness of food poverty and its causes. I pledge to raise awareness of food poverty and its causes. I pledge to raise awareness of food poverty and its causes. I pledge to raise awareness of food poverty and its causes. What we find in Gates said that there's an increasing number of people coming to us. Um, the reasons that they're in food crisis are very many. We see a lot of people who are on low income, on zero hours contracts, um, who have their benefits sanctioned, and they come to us to receive a parcel of food to help them over that crisis. We wanted to make sure that we always had enough food for the people who came to our doors with vouchers, and over the time, um, people in Gateshead have been very generous. We have donations um, from a lot of the churches, but we also have food from um, businesses and other service providers who have collections and supermarket collections. And so due to the generosity of the people in Gateshead donating food, we're able now to um, have three distribution centres. We also have increased our number of volunteers. We've got over 100 volunteers um, who have been approved. Although um, we hope that Gateshead's food bank um, will continue being run as a successful op organisation, um, it's dependent on us um, having volunteers and the amount of food that's coming to us. But we'd really prefer not to have to do this, um, and we'd rather we weren't needed in the community. But um, as it seems, it seems to be an increasing need. We feel that um, it's local people helping local people in Gateshead, and that's the message of the Food Bank. It's local people helping local people, uh, creating a better community for us all. I pledge to raise awareness of food poverty and its causes. I pledge to raise awareness of so food poverty and its causes. A hunger challenge where basically three days we have to live off of what somebody who received a three day food parcel, a food bank, would have to live off of. I decided to open a pack of noodles. No, I made a mistake of putting noodles into a plastic cup and then into the microwave and it sort of melted. Don't do that. Make noodles in a plastic cup, I said. What could possibly go wrong, I said. Yeah, long story short, plastic actually melts if you put it into a microwave. When I initially went out and bought all my food for the hunger challenge, I felt like I'd bought too much food. Like it, I felt like I was I did it wrong because there was a lot of food there. Um, and it seems a lot of my fellow Team V leaders have expressed uh, some sentiment. The aim of the Hunger Challenge was to make us empathetic with people who were in food poverty and simply eating the food that you would get in a food parcel hasn't done that. I need to also reflect what it's like to be someone in food poverty. Here's the more, most important thing about the Food Challenge is that it feels like I've got a lot of food here but maybe it's supposed to be like that because it's supposed to be a lot of food so that people who are actually in food poverty then don't have to worry about the food but don't have to worry about supply themselves with food because that's already taken care of so for at least those three days or so they can just concentrate on simply getting themselves out of food poverty and getting help because they don't have to worry about you know, feeding themselves so they don't starve I pledge to raise awareness of food poverty and its causes
pledge. I 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 pledge.